Hey YouTube, Spencer Young here. And then today will be the start of a brand new series. It will be called PK Tutorials or Parkour Tutorials. So basically, that today will be episode one. And then that today's topic will be basically what is parkour and why do we do it? I will be going over training methods, the, the three different types of the trousseur, and basically the brief def that the that the brief definitions of parkour and free running that seem that the beginners always like to mix up a lot because i feel like that that if that you post up a video on youtube and then that and then that you're just showing like mainly flipping off of something that that's not parkour in a sense that that's just either free running or else that you're just doing a flip off something whereas with free running you have to also be moving at the same time instead of just like oh I'm gonna just so uh, step up here and flip and then post it up on YouTube call it free running that's not free running for starters that I will be giving you the basics of parkour that the three different types of the trousseur and then that I will also be going in into depth of of that the type of training methods and for starters parkour is basically getting from point A to point B in that the most efficient manner using the human body. Now, not to be confused with free running. Free running is more so acrobatics with all of the front flips, cork screws, the B twist and stuff that you guys see on YouTube. However, however, that that doesn't mean that you can limit yourself cuz parkour is all about movement without the flare whereas with free whereas with free running, you do have the flare flare but then you also have the movement movement that the flare will turn into tricking which is basically the that the flashy kicks twist and then all of the flips and such now basically to me personally I like to divide up the trousseur who is a parkour athlete into three unique categories first category is basically the peers. The peers is pure parkour that they have to get to A to B the fastest way possible so then that they are the ones that are mainly like that they like to condition that they are drill heavy too. That there is virtually almost little to no playing around with them but yet that they are but yet that they are that they are the most efficient of the trousseur. The second type will be the will be the tricker that the tricker is kind of the opposite of the Paris. That the tricker uses a lot of flash and flare, flare with just like little to no parkour up in their videos and such. And then you have the the hybrid type, which that that is basically me. It is a mixture of two. I like to be efficient, efficient, but at the same time I like to add in my own little flare, as you see with just my Webster progressions, a few butterfly kicks and such. Now then, with just that out of the way, I will explain to you why we do, I mean, why we train parkour. Training, training inside of parkour is basically with the concept of the world is your playground. We train outside as if that it is our own personal gym, such as using like swing sets, park benches, stairs, stairs, handicap ramps, anything that looks like you can train, vault, climb that that is what we train on I mean that you know like basically that some of the people that that kind of like on the forums a lot that they would say like say like hey that hey hey that hey that there's not much to do up in my area what should I do well I always recommend starting with ground training and then conditioning because I think that that's where where a lot of beginners try to go wrong with parkour you have to condition yourself properly. Me personally, I do a little bit of CrossFit. I run about nine miles a week and then that I incorporate parkour training along with just gym training for just my flips and tricks for some of them. And for those that are interested in defining parkour, I would highly, highly suggest that you go on to the local forum page at AmericanParkour.com I might just put a I just might put a I just might put a link down there in the description. 
All right, who can do parkour? So you can come from any fitness background to do parkour, whether that you are a martial artist, you have been a, that you have been at gymnastics, or else that you just want a new way to work out. I highly recommend parkour because it is all calisthenics or body weight, but at the same time we like to incorporate a few weights such as deadlifts, squats, and then etc. moves like that and such. But basically that up in this okay. Up in this series, we will be basically going over my stretching routine along with showing you some advanced stretches. We will go over the roll. We will go over the climb up, wall run, however that you want to say it. Because most people like to focus on the terminology of parkour. To me, the terminology really does not matter. That just as long as you do the move efficiently, parkour is, the, is your body language. All right, ways of training is basically body weight training, weight training. I'm pretty sure that if you go over to the forums and such, that they will have a lot of uh, advice. I also give advice. I will be going over different type of exercises up in uh, later videos, up in my drill series and such. So basically, training, you're going to need a lot of back strength and then, also a, and then also a bit of leg strength as well. Thank you for watching the video. That If that you please would, would you leave a like or else a comment down below. If that you have any more questions that I will be happy to answer. And then get out there. I hope that this knowledge has helped, has helped out a lot. And then just the overall method is to just instead of watching YouTube videos all the time, you should get out there and train. And basically that this is Spencer Young. See you next time.